Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha Allah, Kolim La Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakahakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all you Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim El Shai to the best of your ability. This is Yah Hanan just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And I've done a lesson um the other day, this young lady that's um I guess you know they kind of break it up because I think the show is maybe about an hour, a little over an hour, two hours maybe. But they'll break it up into pieces, you know, um and 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 you know, just bust it down and 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 kind of make things a little simpler in a sense. But it's a young lady that was on here. Let me back this up. This is redacted. And she said some profound things in the interview that um, he had with her. Because I watched that. I watched the show the other day. And she was saying she was, I think she's a, a researcher. She's a journalist. She does a few different things. But she knew what she was talking about. I think her name is um, Whitney Webb or something like that. But definitely good information. And she mentioned that Israel would be pretty much taking over 911 calls in America. I, I think I'm not sure how it rose. I guess you call 911 and they route it through Israel, <laughs> which makes no damn sense. But, you know, I want to play a little bit of this. Um this is uh for educational purposes only. I'm not getting any monetary value off of this. It's strictly for educational purposes only. So, let's back it up to about I mean, there's so much in this, man. You can get you can get so many lessons out of this um this 135 minute video man it's crazy i think maybe around a three minute mark here so let's play some of it battleground state of arizona sorry we have to close our electronic voting machines you can't vote because america is down right now come back another time meanwhile don't call 911 because 911 services are also reportedly down in areas all over the country last week on our show we just so happened to be covering how the 911 grid is collapsing across the united states journalist whitney webb explained how this is intentional and our 911 services are now being outsourced to israel and actually, there's another company that Peter Thiel uh, funded that's involved with developing this pre-crime uh, system in the United States uh, by actually taking over uh, county by county uh, the nation's 911 emergency call systems. Uh, this is an Israeli-founded uh, company called Carby 911. Uh, that was uh, nominally headed for a long time uh, by Ehud Barak, the former Israeli prime, prime minister. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein funded it with a million dollars. Allegedly, Leslie Wexner, his biggest patron, did as well. This is a huge concern. I mean, as we head into this election, a lot of people saying, well, could we see some sort of, you know, big national emergency? And now 911 networks are going down across the United States, as the USA Today reported this past week. Is this like in an effort for them to say, hey, your 911 network is down well, we have the perfect solution for you. It's an Israeli back yes, 911 network. That is essentially what is happening. And it's actually been in the works for several years, uh, for several years now. Israel, which runs the entire United States Congress, can now also run our 911 emergency services in the United States. Makes total sense when you think about it, right? If I fall down, get hurt, call 911, it'll be routed right through Israel. What the hell is happening? Well, most people. <laughs> oh man bro but hey this this shit getting real man this is why we telling y'all hey repent to the father yahweh in the name of his son yahweh side you so-called blacks hispanics and native americans see things things about to get real nasty out here these people <laughs> how many times within this year a few times this year 911 has been down so to speak you know because of these glitches or these these malfunctionings in the system so to speak you know i'm just trying to keep it classy man but you just never know what these man these motherfuckers man is about to to, uh, to, to cause some stuff to happen why why would why would you outsource 911 in america to israel and Kanye was just saying, hey, they run everything. Like, God damn, when they say everything, you mean everything. Damn, down to 911? You call a 911? <laughs> Man. 
bro. Let me let me. It's a few scriptures come to mind. Let's get this Second Corinthians first. Of, no, let's 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 go back. Let's get um Psalms to just show that you know pretty much overall they're telling on each on, on themselves. Psalm sixty four and eight. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. See this show redacted. They thinking that they really are you know helping and they are. They are helping, you know what I'm saying, because they're they're giving information and they're telling on their own people. The little journalist, she's sitting there. Hey, she she's a part of it. She's a you know, if she's an Edomite, and he's an Edomite, I'm not sure what they are. You know what I'm saying? They could be Israelites. But the thing of it is, is you got a lot of these so-called white people. They going on the news and they doing these shows. They doing these podcasts. They doing these YouTube videos. They doing TikTok videos. They doing all these videos. But they're telling on their own people. And they're telling you what they're doing. Here you go, your boy Joe Biden, Jim Crow Joe, and dropped out of the race. What you think these people about to do, man? Y'all hey, better wake the hell up. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. See, the Lord is doing this on your behalf. Because the Lord is the one that's doing this. But y'all not waking. Y'all don't want nothing to do with the Lord, man. You, you know, you shrugging the shoulder. You know, you 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 know, you slapping away the hand. Like, oh, man, I don't want you. You know, the Lord is extending a hand of mercy to you. That's why it's so important to repent, man, because Esau about to get down. This man about to get down. They giving 911 over to, uh, uh, it, but motherfucker, ain't y'all at war? How the fuck is you handle some 911 calls from America? And as many 911 calls that come through America? Man, come on, bro. Second Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant of the fact that this man is running the world. He's about to push some bullshit through play. And he's going to have you well, right back in your houses again, more than likely. With a bunch of chaos going on around you. Not being able to get out and go about and do what you need to do. It's going to be, hey, people about to be locked in their homes, man. 911 is going to be something that you can't call. And it could very well be because of it. Why would you allow that? That's crazy. Why would you allow? Why would you allow? A, a, why would you allow another country that you're supplying money to, you're supplying missiles to, you're supplying military might to, but you would allow them to run your 911 system and your? Man, I'm telling you, bro. Let's get this one. It's all beautiful, though. I mean, hey, it's all coming to a head. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. And the day that it's being spoken of is the day that Yahweh Shai, which the world eagerly calls Jesus, is going to return. It's not going to come, except there come a falling away first, and that's done already happened. The falling away was the children of Israel. You know what I'm saying? Falling away, you know, from their customs, going into slavery, you know, 70 AD. Being, um, you know, um, the temple being um, ran through and all this other stuff. That part has happened already. Right. But this part right here is playing out now. And that man of sin be revealed. The son of perdition. See, prophecy plays out perfectly, man. It plays out, you know, right on time. It can't be forced. It can't be pushed back. Everything lands on time. It's like. The, the sun moving or like the moon moving or like the seasons move. It, prophecy is, is perfectly on time. No one can hold it up. No one can make it stop. No one can pause it. You can't slow it. This man is being revealed in these last days, man. So this is a part of the last days prophecies that must come to pass just before the Lord's coming. This is prophetic, man. This man is showing you what's up. Now, the wars and rumors of wars that's going on, you got Israel. Same people that supposedly be trying to run the 911 system here in America. They they, they about to go full-fledged war with Iran. Matter of fact, this guy, he goes on he goes on to say a little something about that. But I'm, I'm just going to let it play, man, um, a little bit more. Again, this is for educational purposes only. Hey, look, um, this is a great channel to subscribe to. You may have to filter through a few things. You know, we don't, we don't take everything that they say as truth, truth. But they be saying some stuff, man. A lot of this stuff they be saying be true. So let's play a little more.
Well, most people have been distracted by President Biden dropping out of the race or how many shooters tried to assassinate President Trump. Newsflash, it was at least two people we now know and possibly as many as three. So they want you to look over there while they execute the next part of their plan over here to keep the deep state in power. President Biden, of course. And we tell y'all that oh, the apostles, the apostles have been saying that forever. That they, they do stuff like that, man. While you looking over, they got your attention over here. But they doing all manner of shit over here. See, that Trump assassination shit, all that. And, and even Joe Biden dropping out right now. That little stuff like that, okay, it's news. But you got to be looking the other way. You got to be uh, checking out what they doing over in the backdrop, man. You can't just listen to what, what they talking about, you know, and, and, and they just 24 hours a day. Joe Biden dropped out. Joe Biden dropped out. Joe Biden dropped out. Trump's assassination. Trump's assassination. Trump's assassination. Then they'll throw you some bullshit, you know, baseball, football, whatever sport is going on. You got the Olympics. That's whack as hell. You know, going on summer games, little shit like that going on. Whack as hell. You know, the bread and circuits of this place is dropping. And it's just all wars, rumors of wars, man. Because Israel, the least of the flock, is going to draw everybody into that bullshit that's going on over there. Because they just struck. They just struck back. So this guy from Hathis, um, I'm, I'm not sure his name. I was just watching it on um, uh, Euro News. But he like, hey, we, we, we going to strike y'all asses back. So look for another strike from Hathis. Or, or you know, they, they, they claiming it's Iran. You got people like Lindsey Graham, man. Hey, they ready to go to... These so-called white people, man, don't know nothing but war. They living by that sword for real. And they're going to die by that sword. That sword going to get them in trouble, man. Anyway, let's play a little more. It's just a puppet for the deep state. Now, don't get me wrong. Those are incredibly important stories. Trump's assassination, Biden being replaced. But what is coming is by all accounts bigger and will affect all of us. Pay attention to this, guys. What could be so big that it forces us into a lockdown, forces us to use their digital currency, forces us to change our behavior? Well, a massive infrastructure collapse, of course. An infrastructure collapse we can blame on another country. As BlackRock CEO Larry Fink just pointed out, you need to force people in order to change their behavior. You need to use force. Well, behaviors are going to have to change, and this is one thing we're, going to, we're asking companies. Uh, you have to force behaviors, and at BlackRock, we are forcing behaviors. Of course you have to use force. People don't... See? He says, but of course you have to use force. Nobody want nothing to do with your shit, man. But... What is it all about? What is it all leading up to? It's all leading up to this digital currency, man. That market of beauty and the beast is on display, baby. These are the, the hey, we're living in the end days, man. You can't, you can't. In these camp, you camps, man. That's that's teaching that this, 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 um, this, this market of beauty and the beast is not this goddamn chip. This RFID. This implant. Y'all bugging, man. Y'all, hey, you're going to have a lot of blood on your hands, man. You're supposed to be warning the flock as to what's coming and what's coming next. These major prophecies, Jacob's Trouble, um, the MOTB, the market of beauty and the beast, the implants going into people in World War III. That's it before the Lord's coming, man. That's it. It's almost a wrap. Revelations 13 and 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. And that's that's what this is all leading up to. Here you go. You got Israel in control of the 911 calls in America. What the fuck? What, uh, what the fuck is that? These people can shut this shit down. Look, everything just just blinked out just yesterday. With the little, uh, they, they claiming um, it wasn't a cyber attack. But they just clearly showed you one company or two companies is in control of the entire globe's money. Where well, they can shut that shit down, man, and, 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 and it turn back on and, and, and everybody is at zero. You know how many people going to panic? You know how many people going to jump off goddamn build, uh, uh, rooftops? It's gonna be people out here just deleting their whole family with the with the with the pistol. 
They just gonna load that pistol up, man, and get to knocking everybody off. It's gonna it's gonna be people that's not gonna want nothing to do with this new world that's gonna come. And it's coming. It's coming fast, man. And this is um, Revelation 14, verse 9. This is what happens if your ass fall for the bullshit. You, and this is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Them damn heathen, they want to go take a chip. They want to go and let somebody put some implants in their ass and let them do it. But you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that's your biblical nationality. They really want to perpetually enslave your ass. It's not like they it's, they they done had us in slavery for like 500 years already. That's not enough. They want total control of you and their own people. They don't even care about their own people. Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh. Which he, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So if you take this shit, you through. You take this, you through. Ain't no coming back from it. You're not gonna be able to dig that shit out of your skin. I seen a movie, um, um, that you know that was going into it. You know what I'm saying? It was all about the chip. And it was one of those old, you know, religious movies. And, you know, they had a part in the movie where this guy and this this, this, this guy and this girl, they was digging the shit out of their hand after they found out. Like, later they found out. Like, oh, well, yeah, we, you know, this is evil. No, you take that shit, you through. Let's get chapter 16 real quick. Revelation 16 and 2. It says, the first went and poured out his vial, his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and Greek. Gr a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beauty and the beast, the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. And they already done the tester. All those people that ran out and they rolled their sleeves up to that COV, they, they already know that those people are going to be um, compliant. They're, those people are not going to resist. All they got to do is apply a little bit of pressure there's no food, there's no water, we have it, and if you want it, come down here and get it, but you're gonna have to have this. Them people are not gonna have no problems with doing that. You're gonna have some resistance, though, of people, that because you can look in the comment boards of a lot of these stories, they, they you know, a lot of these so-called white people, they call it what it is, the mark of the beast. They be in the comment boards going hard. So when it comes to you camps, why aren't you going this hard? You see? So it's a lot in this in this hookup, man. I mean, boy, when I say it, it is a lot. Let's see, though. Of course you have to use force. People don't want your lousy digital currency. They don't want to be locked down at home and told what to do. We knew this was coming, of course. The WEF has been warning us for years that the next pandemic wouldn't be a virus. It would be a cyber attack. The WEF detailed this attack in their Cyber Polygon report. And, of course, it's shocking that CrowdStrike is a proud member of the WEF. You can't make this stuff up, guys. So the way to keep Biden in power, keep the deep state in power, is to create a massive false flag that harms every one of us. And then we blame it on a foreign adversary, like, you know, 9-11, right? That's exactly how this works. So let's spin the wheel. Who could be behind all of this? Could it be Russia? Nah, they've tried that one. China? Nah, too obvious. Ah, uh, yes, Iran. Where we are now is not in a good place. Uh, Iran, because uh, the nuclear agreement was uh, thrown out, instead of being... Um, at least a year away from having the breakout capacity of producing fissile material for a nuclear weapon is now probably one or two weeks away from doing that. Over the past 24 hours, the White House is pretending to go into DEFCON 2, one step away from war with Iran. Oh, and the shooter that tried to kill Trump had an encrypted overseas account or multiple encrypted overseas accounts. Dare I say he was an Iranian secret agent? Oh, that's what they're trying to tell us next. Hey, some other things are coming out, like the shooter had three encrypted accounts overseas. At the same time, we're having an Iranian plot. Uh, so, I mean, there is, I think this is going to go much broader, much deeper. Iran is only one week away from having a nuclear weapon. The shooter that tried to kill Trump was an Iranian spy? So we better go to war with them right now. If you believe that, I have a bridge. <laughs> hey, man. This man is through. Esau is through. And, and you know what? Let me get this real quick. 
I'll end out here. I just wanted to just touch on a little bit of that video because I was looking at it and I'm like, okay, I see he cut up some parts, but this is a new show. But he will use like um, interviews that he's had with other people and, and piece them together and just give it to you on a short take, man. And uh, hey, it, it's dope to me. I mean, you know, because the Lord has given us the information that we need to warn the flock. That's our main major job. Our main job is to warn the flock, man. The Lord has given us all the tools to warn the flock. So if you're a man of the Lord, and you just sitting on your hands, man, you just not doing no work, you know what I'm saying? And our people are, 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 are you know, um, you know, hey, hey, this is serious work. You know, it's a lot of shit going on, you know what I'm saying, amongst Israel. But you know what I'm saying? This is a, this, this is serious work right here. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having a great wrath, having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he had but a short time. See, they already know. So, hey, time's up. That clock running down on their asses and they moving fast as hell. And guess what they doing to you? Throwing you your little Hulu shows. Giving you your little Netflix shows. You know, giving you your little bread and circus. Your little um, uh, sports that you like. You know. Some new controversy in the news. Some rapper said this and... Some um, actor said that or, you know, and there's been a lot of actors, a lot of celebrities been getting knocked off these past two weeks, too. And it's a lot of, um, um, you know, uh, uh, things going on as far as like people deleting their whole damn families and stuff like that. Those spirits of vengeance are out, man. So we're in full fledged. Uh, 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 let's go mode. The Lord is, is really uh, uh, rowling things up because it's, it's time. It's time, man. We, we don't have much time here, man. That's why it's so important to repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. And that's for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. It's simple. Repent. The Lord is extending a hand before he destroys this place. Because he's going to destroy it. Because Israel with the bullshit over there, you know, the least of the flock shall draw them out. Israel going to draw America into the bullshit. All the little allies that still left with America. Everybody going to go and assemble themselves in that land over that way. And they're going to get their asses knocked off, man. But America's about to be nuked. And it's only a matter of time, man. So repent to the Father, Yahweh, which means that he exists or the, or the existing one. That's the true name of our Father. Not Jehovah. Not no damn Allah. You know. Not these titles that they, they, they running with. The Lord has a name, man. He has a lot of titles, but he, got a, he's, he has a name. And it's Yahweh. And, 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 and again, it means he exists or the existing one. And his son has a name. And it's not Jesus, man. It's Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. Yahweh Shai. Right? Because there's no letter J in Hebrew. There's no letter E in Hebrew. There's no letter O. There's no letter U. There's no letter V. Those letters were added on and and, and 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 those same israelis that's about to run your 911 system they added all that bullshit to the hebrew language those letters don't exist in the paleo hebrew those sounds don't exist in the paleo hebrew and no damn jesus man the letter j was invented in 1524 by a grant a grammarian named um george um giorgio transino i think is his name because at the time, the letter I was being used. Then, you know, you have the I, letter I with the little dot over, the, over it. Then they kind of added a little curve underneath it. And that's where you get your letter J today. He, he invented that in 1524, 500 years ago. So if the Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago, how could his name be Jesus? And again, always say, man, you, you got these, these, these Christians. You got people that's like, well, his name don't matter. He knows who I am. Yeah, he know who you is. But you better know his name and you, you better be knowing who he is and how he gets down. Because you got Christians, man. These Christians, they, 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 they make it seem as if the Lord is just some silly guy. He's a simp. He's silly as hell. He's naive. He don't have no sense. He's just a damn dummy. That's the, when you listen to Christians and they get to talking about how the Lord loves everything, he loves everybody. He loves you no matter what you do. That sounds like a damn simp to me. 
The Lord is not no simp, man. The Lord is a man of war. He will kill you. He's send, he sending forth spirits of vengeance on a day-to-day -day basis. Spirits of vengeance been getting busy all day long. So anytime you hear of a car crash or a house fire or a nigga getting done up, you know, getting sprayed up from a drive-by or, a, you know, a, 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 a motherfucker choking over a meal. Or he just died in his sleep. Man, that's the Lord, man. The Lord kill and make alive, man. So we living in some serious, serious times, man. I wish I could have played a little bit more of this. I mean, but hey, go to it, man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Redacted. Hey, they had like uh, 2.44 million people. This video within four hours of me speaking on it right now has damn near 300,000 views. So people watching. You know, so yeah, who knows who, you know, who they're sponsored by really in the backdrop. But it, this is real information, man. <laughs> real. They're starting to tell on each other, man. That Psalm 64 and 8 is coming to life. They're starting to tell on each other. And it's all about whether or not you're listening. Jake don't be thinking about nothing, man, but some bullshit, man. You ain't watching no damn news. Jake not watching no news. Jake not into no geopolitics. That's why it's gonna catch our people off guard so cold. The Lord got the men, the men, the Lord got the men out on the highways and byways, doing lessons, doing videos, doing sit downs, all day, every day. It's more of these Hebrew Israelite um, videos going out than any news in the world. So there's absolutely no excuse for people not, you know, um, um, knowing what's going on. They're not gonna be able to say that. There's not gonna be, matter of fact, let me see. It's not gonna be no cloak. The Lord even said that. They're not going to have no excuse. John 15 and 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no, no cloak for their sin. See? So if the Lord hadn't come and spoke, but who did the Lord teach? He taught his men. His men taught his men. And it's been an ongoing teaching since those 2,000 years or so ago. Men have been, and the Lord is waking the, the, the men of the Lord back up, has waken the men of the Lord back up with this 100% this truth through GMS. So now the, the, the seals have been broken and, and, and the scriptures is going out. The Lord is telling you who's who. Deuteronomy 7 and 6, you know, uh, uh, he, he sees um, Israel as his, his, his possession, his peculiar people. Deuteronomy 14 and 2, hey, we're the apple of his eye. So now that, 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 that's coming back into play. And the Lord is showing the world who the children of Israel really are. And then you got Jake walking by, man, scoffing and, and fucking mocking, man. Talking shit. So two-thirds of Jake got to get done up. So we just do these lessons. Because this is the work that he has given us to do, man. We can't stop this work until he tells us to stop. We're not going to stop until he tells us to stop. And I pray that I'm a part of that all the way until the very, very end, man. I don't want no parts of two-thirds um, activity and what's going to come to two-thirds, man. I don't want no parts of that shit. Because it's not going to be a pretty look. It's not going to be good. It's not going to be... What's coming to America? You don't want no parts of what's coming to this place, man. You know, and see, you see, Jake not going to really realize what's up until it hit the asses, man. And them goddamn missiles get to flying. When you when you start to hear those goddamn alarm sirens and shit going off, and it's going to be too late for you to go any damn where. You ain't going to be able to get out of here anyway. So I'm going to end out there, man. I pray that the lesson was edifying with that. Kwame Yashola, the Bible Ball.